I don't know if you've ever wanted to make your own hamburger helper, but you didn't actually have that the box and the packet that comes with it. You know, it comes with you know a box a little bit bigger than this, and it comes with a little packet in there. You're supposed to add your own meat. Um, so if you have a box of Velveeta cheese, it's basically the same thing. And um, this is what we're going to use as our spice. This is a very versatile spice. I love it a lot. I was just uh, bragging on having it back in my life. It's called roasted garlic and herb. You can put this. <clears throat> I'm going to put something different on the, the actual meat. I always use Montreal steak for the burger. So I'm going to put this on the meat. But I'm actually going to um, use this. Also, so you'll see. But anyways, um, I've got some water in here. We're going to get this bowl in too. I have both of my eyes on high to try to catch up. Super easy too. How's your day going so far? I hope you're having a good day. Oh, we got that little pouch to get out. Here we go. Uh, for some reason, I don't know why, Kayla always likes to dump the dump the noodles but she's not here today so I have to dump it there we go perfect put the lid back on now give it a good stir for some reason in this particular pot my um, noodles don't ever stick for some reason I'm not sure why but I'll throw this to the side tear the meat up. I like to twist the spatula, it kind of helps. And you can you can have bigger chunks. Sometimes that's good. I like to get them in the meat like that, flip it over. That way you're getting all the um, meat turned over and not just certain pieces. It makes it cook a little bit more evenly. I know in the hamburger helper box it usually tells you to brown your meat and then um, kind of set that to the side and then in a pan like this you would take your noodles and you would take milk and a certain um, number of things that they have in the box and kind of mix it together. So I'm going to brown the meat and I might bring those noodles over to this pan and see if we could do it kind of the same way. I've got it heating up right now as we speak. I just thought about how they do it that way and it's a little different. So I'll try to replicate that. Alright, that's about as chopped up as I need the meat to be. Um, just need it all to be done. Quite a few different kinds of hamburger helper. I don't know which ones um, you're trying to make, possibly. Um, but these obviously have the little uh, seashell looking things. Um, but then you can also use these type of noodles, little rain, uh, little bow ties. So I like that. And then you could have your own box like this of elbows. You could use that if you have something like that. Cut this meat down. Forgot it's still on high. I was wondering why it was cooking so aggressively. I was like, man, this stuff is cooking fast today. Look at all this grease. It's so terrible for you. I like to get that out. Get all that grease out. Cut your pan sideways while pulling your meat to the top. 
easier said than done sometimes but uh depends on your incline don't don't get greedy with it if you do a 90 degree incline everything's going to come out okay so we have a uh, oh, quite a bit of grease there I'm so glad to have these napkins back. I really enjoy it. <clears throat> Not enjoy it, but uh, I like using these. Get the rest of that grease out. Not get it all, but you can get a lot of it. Save your life. Live a little bit longer. Okay, we got a lot of that grease. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to add, I'll just add the, the noodles and the meat together. It needs a little bit more fluid, but that, was, that water was too starchy. So I'm going to reach for the milk right now. A lot of times they will have milk in the recipe, you know. You have to put like a quarter cup or something, so we're going to use that much milk. Slow that cooking down a little bit. But it is essential. Perfect. Now, we have our meat seasoned. So when you bite the meat, it's going to taste good. And then we're going to add this other seasoning as well. Just a little bit. Let's see. This kind of, if you pick up on the, like, there's like a pickle taste if you... I don't know how to explain it, but there's a certain, oh man, I, I wish I knew the name of it, I wish I had a box, but there's a certain hamburger helper that kind of has like a pickle taste to it, kind of, and I th oh, that's what it is, cheeseburger, yeah, so they have like this pickle taste to it with the cheeseburger, hamburger helper, or hamburger helper, <laughs> Shit, I don't know what it's called, but you know what I'm trying to say. It comes with this uh, spice, I've always tried to replicate it, and that's exactly what it is, pretty damn, pretty daggone close. So let's see, we've got our hamburger helper almost together. What else are we missing? Seasoning is there. I'm gonna throw this cheese in there, why not? Should we wait till the noodles are done? I think that might be one of the things they have cheese to the side where they tell you to add it at the end. You see how this is thickening up? And the noodles are still cooking. Well, that's pretty easy. I wonder if I need a little water too, but you know, not so much milk, a little bit more water. Hey, I think this is gonna be fine. Especially when you get that cheese in there, it's gonna be very creamy. Check it out flavor wise.
Mm. Very hot. It has a very creamy flavor. You can definitely taste the meat really well. It's definitely missing this cheese too. So I'm happy we're doing the cheese. We have it on five. I don't see what the harm in adding this cheese is. We'll see. We'll see if, if it's uh, detrimental. We'll do it different next time. Here we are. Mm, that Velveeta is the best, isn't it? That's hard to beat right there. That is a classic Velveeta. Shells and cheese. Mm. For some reason, Kayla likes this. I don't know why. It tastes pretty terrible to me, but she likes it. See, um, once you reach this point, you should cut your heat down to about three. Not sure if your oven works that way. It might be medium, low, medium, low. But you want to cut that heat down. Those noodles are still cooking. They're gonna be just the right consistency or doneness level. Have the right level of doneness whenever we are done over here stirring really coming together starting starting to look just like hamburger helper now that the cheese is there I know that's going to change the flavor big time I mean Velveeta cheese is amazing that little pouch adds so much goodness I wish they were sponsoring me like I would make macaroni and cheese every day <laughs> every day you really can't go wrong with it perfect all right, so that's looking good. It's coming together. Now let's check these noodles to see if they're done. That's a conjoined one. I don't want to check that one. All right, there we go. Mm, looking good. Wow, that's good. Hey, don't tell them this is actually better than Hamburger Helper. Wow. Dude, that is so good right now. I can't believe I haven't done this before. Wow. Very, very cheesy, man. Super cheesy. Let's cut that heat off. It's done. The noodles are right on point. You don't need to add any cheese. It's perfect. 